uh, here's uh, the, you know, the private room for Smith, where Smith will magically transform into the conductor. <laughs> vice versa. Uh, and vice versa, yes. And I feel like what sound needs to do is actually take us on a linear journey from the East Coast into the center of the country. And so how we, you know, how we move forward both musically and and like Edwardian, like full, like Victorian era of it. Um, people aren't corseted anymore. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's still a little bit of like you're kind of you're still slightly constricted by your clothing. Um, there are the uh, women often wore uh, hobble skirts, which were very thin around the ankle, so there will be movement things. And oh yes, uh, you have yeah. active packets in your folders. Um, those have some features. I mean, there was also a whole social hierarchy of working on the train. Uh, the porters did the most work. They worked 400 hours a month. Um, a lot of times they didn't get sleep. Um, you really technically weren't allowed to sleep, so porter served just to catch a nap whenever they could. It's over there. Do you see that fellow saying goodbye to her? She feels pretty rocky. What do you know about it? I wish I didn't have to tell Dad I flunked in two exams. He may not let me go back next year. <laughs> Gee, I wish I didn't have to go back. But the more I flung, the longer they keep on sending me. <laughs> Look at Ike and his gold tooth. What did the lady say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Is your grandmother deaf? Yes, a, a little. I don't hear very well. The train makes such a noise. <laughs> <laughs> the introductions are almost over.